Hello everyone, welcome to your leg workout. Nothing fancy today, we're just going down the list three times. I've got seven exercises. So we're gonna do some legs and then some glutes, some legs and then some glutes. All right, we've got some, a little bit of outer thighs, we got a little bit of inner thighs, a lot of quads. <laughs> we'll be all right. You will need a chair or a bench or something that you can sit down on and stand back up, all right? So if you want to skip right to the workout, go right ahead. If not, stick with me and I'll explain what the exercises are. So like I said, you're only gonna need a chair, no weights at all, unless you feel like you do need them. Uh, chances are you probably won't. Um, but I mean, if you want to hold on some weights for some of the exercises, awesome. All right. So the first exercise we're going to do is a one legged squat sit stand. So I'm going to use my chair. You sit right down. All right. You don't want your feet in close about 90 degrees in your knees. All right. So you're just kind of sitting on the edge of the chair, lift one leg. And what I'm going to do is put all my weight on my heel of the foot that's on the floor and I'm going to stand up, sit down, stand up. That's all it is. 10 each leg. Now, if you do find that challenging, I want you to do sit and stand squats. All right. If you find that too easy, put some weight in your hands and really focus pushing up through those heels as you sit and stand. If that's too easy, what you could do is do a squat jump out of it, but it's not a tap your bum to the, the chair. It's literally sit and stand back up. Even if you're doing the one-legged squat, sit and stand back up, because what that does you disengage and engage, disengage and engage, all right? The next one we're gonna do, butterfly, I call them butterfly glutes. So you're on the floor, on your back, feet are together, knees are off to the side, all right? You can put your hands down on the floor, palms to the floor. Then from here, push up through the sides of your feet as your knees stay off to the side and Lift your hips as high as you can and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze your bum. But see, my knees are still off to the side and come back down. Lift and squeeze and come back down. The next exercise, you're going to go fairly wide into a sumo squat. Feet off to an angle. Bum down and back into your squat. You're going to give yourself a little pulse and come back up. Pulse. Come back up. Next one we're going to do is a side plank leg lift. We've got some options here. I'll show you what the side plank leg lift is first. So what you're going to do is going, you're going to go into a side plank onto your knees, elbow underneath your shoulder, stack your joints, hips in line with your shoulder, knee in line with your hips. Okay, so you've got a nice long line from your knee to your toes. Top leg goes out. You can put your random hand here on the side of your hip. And you're going to lift your leg up to the ceiling. All right, straight up. Now, if you find that challenging, put your hip on the floor. And do them like so. If you find that kind of awkward, come down onto your side and lift it, lift it this way. All right, we've got options. The next one we're going to do is runner's lunge. So runner's lunge. So you're in a plank, hands underneath shoulders. Runner's lunge, bring your leg up in between your hands, all the way in your heel, and you're gonna reach up to the ceiling. Bring your hands down, leg back, switch, and come back up. 
you can jump it. All right, stay low. Your alternative is going to be standing up tall and doing an alternating, alternating <laughs> front lunge like so. All right, when you go into your front lunge like so, you're going to go forward, 90 degrees in this knee, 90 degrees back here. All the weight is in your heel when you step forward and you come back and alternate, all right? Um, another side note, you're not going in a straight line like this when you do a lunge. Remember your hips, you're going hip widths apart with your stance. Uh, we did this on one of the first videos. Your inner thighs, all right? Arms out to a T. One leg goes off to the side 10 times. The other leg goes off to the side 10 times. And then we're gonna do them together 10 times. Now, if you need some ankle weights, if you have some at home, please use the ankle weights. They're a great addition. You can get like two pounders four pounders, but usually the two pounders work just fine. And then the last exercise is Frogger, all right? So you come down into your plank and you jump up nice and wide into a squat, bum down all the way in your heels, hands come up. Jump back out, jump back in. Your alternative is going to be regular squats, just up and down. Regular squats, all the weight in your heels, of course. I'm gonna preach that, preach that, preach that every day. Once your weight goes into your toes, everything's going into your knees, you're gonna get some knee injuries, all right? Be watchful of your form. Down and back, right? Right? All right, so let's get to that workout. We'll do that list three times, nothing fancy. Let's go. So the first one we're gonna do is that one-legged squat. We've got 10 each side. Sit on the edge of your chair. All the weight goes into your heel. Find your sweet spot where you're gonna keep your balance. All right, and push straight up. So come on up, that's one, come down. Two, three. You got this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other side. Let's go. One, two. There's always a side that's a little bit more challenging. My balance on this side isn't the greatest. Four, five, I find you have to stare at one spot. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. Butterfly glutes, come on down onto the floor. Feet together, knees out wide. Palms to the floor. Lift your hips up as high as you can. Squeeze those glutes, all right? Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze at the top. We've got 10, so up, 10. There you go, nine. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. It's all about that squeeze and getting those hips up as high as you can. Five, six, One more. Nice. I like those because it gets your whole butt. All right, next one is your pulse squat. If you wanna hold the weight at your chest, feel free. We're going to 10, little pulse, and then come up. Little pulse, and then come up. Let's go. Just like that, bum down and back. The deeper your bum, the more inner thigh you're gonna get. Nice, controlled movement. 
Don't just bust it out just to get it done, right? You want to feel your muscles working. Focus on the muscles that you're working. If you focus, slow and controlled, instead of fast and not controlled, you'll get better results. I don't know where I'm at, so I'm gonna do one more. <laughs> nice. Uh, next one is your side plank leg lift. All right, so remember your alternative. You can either go on your elbow and lift like so, or lay down, lift like so. Okay, flex that foot, squeeze your bum as you lift, all right? Or you're gonna do them up in the plank with me. Side plank, we're here, flex that foot, lift one, two, four, five, six, eight, nine, and 10. Nice. Other side. Try not to hit that chair. Let's go. Here we go. So remember, you're either going to alternate your lunge standing up or you're going to do the runner's lunge with me. We're going to do 10 total, five each side. Um, if you find the runner's lunge too challenging, or the alternating lunge standing up too challenging, go to 20, 10 each side. Um, same with the runner's lunge, but the runner's lunge, you're nice and low and you're jumping it and you're on fire the whole time. So we'll do 10. We'll see how that goes. We might up it for the second round. We'll see. I don't know. So let's go into your plank. All right. One leg comes up. All the weight in your heel. Reach for the sky. Look up. Come down and switch. Two. Three. your leg up, five, six, focus on the inner thigh, eight, nine, and ten, other side, one, two, three, five, Eight, nine, and ten. Ten together. One. Focus on using both inner thighs equally. That's five, four, three, two, and one. Lot. Okay. Last one is Frogger. So remember. If you find frogger challenging, you're just gonna stand up and you're gonna do nice, good squats. If you need weight in your hands, hold the weight at your chest or down low, your call, right? It's your workout. So, into your plank, let's go. We have 10, nice and wide. When you come up, one, two, four, Nine, 
10. Nice. Round one done. That's pretty good. I like it. I like it. All right. Let's do that all over again. One legged squats. All right, let's do this. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got this. Eight. Oh, <laughs> nine. Ten. I had it until I looked at you guys in the camera. Ugh, okay. All right, let's do it. Ten on the other side. up as high as you can. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Let's go. So one, two, four, five, six, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Um, pulse squats. You have 10. Sumo squat, nice and wide, bum down and back, pulse on the bottom and come back up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, six, Eight, nine, and ten. Nice. What's next? Leg lifts. Remember, you're either laying down on your elbow or up in your side plank with me. Ooh. All right. Let's go. So one, two, three, five, six. Eight, nine, and ten. Sweet. All right. Other side. There we go. And two, three, five, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. What do we got next? Runner's lunge. Uh, I'm going to stick with 10 just for the video, but if you want to go to 20, feel free to go to 20. All right. Let's get ready. Up, reach up, and come back down. Two. Three. And ten. Good job. We got our inner thighs. Ten, ten, ten. Okay. Ten on the right. Eight, 
nine, ten, ten on the left, eight, nine, ten, and ten together. Six, eight, nine, and one more. Nice. All right, and the last one, we have our froggers. Let's get her done. All right, ready? Or you're doing squats, remember. Let's go. So, one. Round two done. That's not bad. That's not bad. Whew. Let's do that again. One more go through. Okay, so you're going to do your one legged sit stand. Ooh. Whew. Getting warm. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Up and down. Two. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm starting to really feel this one. Okay, let's do this again. Other side. One, two. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm really starting to feel like, oh, they're starting to be jelly. Okay, butterfly, butterfly glutes. Let's do it. Whew. Let's go. Two. Squeeze three. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. What do I think we have our pulse squat? Yep. Pulse squat. So i let's go. There you go. Get those inner thighs involved there. Get your butt involved. All right. Three. We got this. Four. We got this. Five. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more, guys. One more. Nice. All right. Side plank, leg lift. I like these. Get a little bit of core in there, a little bit of side butt. Let's go. One, two, four, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other side. We're almost there. So close. Hang in there with me. Hang in there. Let's go. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. All right. 
What do we got? Runner's lunge, all right? Or you're alternating your lunge, remember? Okay. Go, reach up, look up, and switch. You can always step out your switches too if you wanted to. exercises to go. We got our inner thighs. So 10, 10, 10. Whew. I'm going to start on the left this time. Start on the left. Nine and ten, ten together. Three, four, five, eight, nine, and nice, ten. Job. Oh, that is all right. So, last one. Frogger, 10 froggers, or if you're doing good old squats. Last one, guys, 10 reps, and we're good to go. Let's go. One. But my legs are slightly jelly, but they feel good. <laughs> Let me know what you thought on the page. I'll see you tomorrow.